Here we go, gang. Let's install Ubuntu on a virtual machine. First, gotta download Ubuntu. Find your way to the download section of their site or use the link down in our description. Download that son of a gun. To make our virtual machine, let's use Oracle VM's VirtualBox. You can see the link down in the description. Select the appropriate host for your operating system and away we go. Run that EXE that you just downloaded and, uh, well, might as well accept the defaults. Welcome to VirtualBox. Click on the New icon. Give your new progeny a name and just be sure to select Linux and Ubuntu 64. Go ahead and give yourself two gig worth of RAM. Well, of course, I want to create a virtual hard disk now and a VirtualBox disk image will do just fine. Dynamically allocated because we are winners and we will treat ourselves to that 10 gigs of space. Now that's done, go to settings for your brand spanking new virtual machine and under the general tab, click on advanced. Copy pasting and dragging dropping is always nice, so set shared clipboard and drag drop to bi-directional. Click on system, select that processor tab. Crank that bad boy up to two CPUs because things like Kubernetes need to. Now, click the green arrow and give your creation life! And wait. And wait. And... Boom! There we go. Click Install Ubuntu because obviously. Select your preferred language and select Minimal Installation because you're not that fancy. Erase disk and install Ubuntu. Don't mind if I do. Install now. Yes, 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 yes. Continue. New York is representing this entire time zone here. Choose your login and your password, and thank you, Ubuntu, for filling that out for me. And it's go get a sandwich time. Installation and sandwich complete. All right, you're not getting anything out of me, Ubuntu. Right click and quit. I want to be able to copy and paste in and out of this VM, so I'm going up to Devices and select Insert Guest Editions CD Image. Run means yes. Password time. Press enter to finish and then click machine at the top and select reset to initiate those changes. Reboot again. Right click on the kitty desktop and select open terminal. Try copying and pasting something from your host machine and it should work. My old man eyes don't like such a small window so I'ma click view adjust window size. And now I can maximize my window and the resolution self adjusts. You are now ready to go. Enjoy your new practice environment and thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by Alta3 Research. We offer training solutions both on site and online so that you can choose the method that works best for you. If you like this video, check out the links in the description box below for more information on our course offerings. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.